Hey guys, grow the farm up. What a time of day and what a thing to see. Uh, doing something you're not gonna see on most anybody else's uh, ag or YouTube channel. Some original content. We're actually cutting the tassels off of our corn. Don't worry, we have not gone crazy. It's on purpose. You can see how we're not cutting off of uh, two of the 12 rows. Those are the male rows and you guys planted those with me uh, at separate times and planted the female with me at separate times. We raised storms we, and then we cultivated and we watered and we sprayed it and we took care of it. And now this is the second time I've been across this field. Uh, it's just about ready to put a silk out, the female is. The male is going to have a tassel out in a day or two, so the timing looks really good. And this is what a seed corn field looks like as it expresses its tassel. And as you can see, we have cutting blades on there, and we also have tire pullers. We'll get more video of that, but uh, this is just uh, really nice up against the river bottom ground. It's been a while since I made it. Uh, video we got some really in-depth content coming out that we've been working on for quite some time I'm saying I know it's coming it's it it's coming but uh, you know it's in-depth and meaningful it takes some time to unpackage you got to figure out the right way to uh, convey that to, to folks uh, some very interesting industry information but you know what we have here is a nice machine uh, tassel troll which means that it automatically uh, the head automatically moves itself up and down it's got little eyes out there on the end that see the tassel and tell the head how high or low to go uh, very simple yet effective and sometimes you have to run it manually you know that's all part of being a good seedsman you got to take a look around use the tools at your disposal but it's a you know it's a tassel troll uh haggy machine you know here's our you know uh, rpm miles per hour temperature not bad running 187 degrees it's not the big fancy uh new sprayer uh style you guys but you know if you're a farm boy and you've got an air conditioner uh on a hot uh july afternoon you know that uh, you cannot complain so just wanted to give you guys a quick update we're bringing some more of that nutritional value uh, and some studies that we've been doing and really researching prior studies that have been done and putting together some uh, aids and charts and it's it's going to be pretty interesting but this is just too pretty here i couldn't not grab a quick video and post this update you guys say hey thanks for watching we are out doing our specialty crop thing we are uh, growing this independent seed corn uh, as we just talked about you know more nutrient density and it's a market that's just taking off I look at how beautiful that field looks it's regeneratively farmed you know the ends look good even I mean, heck, the soybeans out here, even though they just get run over, look good. But look at how good and straight and organized everything has to be. Because, uh, you know, you can't miss one of these tassels. See these tassels in front of me? We're coming into the field here. We'll make this video just a couple minutes longer than we probably should, so you guys can see if you're interested. The head lift up. We'll just let the machine run and kind of do some of its talking for itself here. Very nice machine. We've got, uh, there's another one over there running in the field. Where is he? Why can't I see him? There he is. Zoom, not working too great through the window. We've got about five of these things. Nice, nice units. 
they do a good job and there's just certain times a day that the light catches things and reveals them this is what a seed cornfield looks like as it reveals its tassel to you. you cannot be early and you cannot be late you can only be right on time it's timing, timing, timing. That's why farming this way is so dang interesting. All right, folks, I'm going to get back to work on this beautiful piece of seed corn that I've just had the privilege of cutting across. And uh, looks very good. Promising year so far. Uh, we just got a little bit of rain and hope to have higher nutrient-dense foods on a shelf near you by 2021-2022. Step on for the ride because we're about to figure out exactly how to do that. All right, folks. Catch you later. Grow the farm up.